ready, ready? Yes! Wait now, all you sure, all you ready? For the big bad national lottery, unique touch soccer, SVG Community College, Invitational Football Championship 2023! Going down October 10th to November 17th, come see the best of Jabel Youth, Hope International, System 3, Dash Year 1 and Year 2, Avenues Youth, Associates Combined, DTVE, Year 1 and Year 2, Med Unit, and Sports Science! Last year, we brought you football under the lights at the Honestville playing field. This year, we're bringing you an explosion of much more action. Action that can only be found at the National Lotteries. You need to sucker. SVG Community College. In, 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 in. Invitational Football Championship 2023. Ladies and gentlemen, for the first time in St. Vincent, we're having the massive 5,000 US dollars. Yes, you got that right, 5,000 US dollars. My Smart Toilet Seat, Table Tennis Series, Invitational Club Championships. This winner takes all group to knockout style tournament would be held daily from 4.30 p.m. to 7.30 p.m. From the 30th of October to the 4th of November. Wow, that's six days of hardcore table tennis. Teams are invited from Trinidad and Tobago. Barbados, Grenada, St. Lucia, Dominica, USA, and your very own St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Each of the preliminary rounds will be held at the NDP headquarters. Opposite the St. Vincent, Girls High School, Kingstown, admission $5. And the final showdown will be hosted at the Western George Secondary School in Bel Air, admission $20. Food and beverages will be on sale. Don't miss this grand event. Are looking for a place to relax with natural cool breeze and friendly surroundings? Then check the Bay Hill Tree Bar, located at Bay Hill Cane Garden. We have everything a bar will have. We also sell shell 20 pounds of cooking gas at the Bay Hill Tree Bar. Are you shipping with a personality? We at Cargoral Atlantica Litigation can make that happen for you. With our dynamic and responsive global company, where the workers put the customer first. We ship to St. Vincent and the Grenadines, Jamaica, Haiti, Barbados, and St. Lucia. We can be contacted at telephone number 416-726-5611 or 647-806-7676. Also by email at cargoral at atlantica.com. We are located at 505 Clayson Road, Unit 7 and 8, North York, Ontario. Come see the difference we can make for our customers. Looking for something local to eat and yet affordable, but don't want to go too far? Then check out the local one. Owned and operated by Wall of Sand Hill's very own at Sand Hill Junction. We have burgers, chow mein, chicken and fries, sodas and local fruit juices. We even have pepper sauce made right here in Sign Hill. Come taste and enjoy our finger licking food at the local one. Island Style Souvenir and Clothing Store. We carry everything you need in souvenirs. T-shirts in all different sizes, caps, keychains, key rings, plaques and banners, magnets, ID holders, mugs, and we even carry St. Vincent flag. And last not all, we carry Hawaiian style t-shirts and dresses, handbags with matching scarves. We also carry tie-dye dresses, shirts, and tops. Everything in our store are made right here in St. Vincent and the Grenadines. So come on over and check us out. We are located at the cruise ship berth in Kingstown. Our telephone number, 784 Five nine three six three three eight. That number again uh, seven eight four five nine three six three three eight. It's Island Style. Looking for a unique specialty design for that special occasion? Look no further. At Dick Elysius, they specialize in endless possibilities. They can bring your ideas to life and provide you with a unique cake created for your specific event or occasion. They are specialized in cakes and cupcakes. Single year starts at $70 for 7 inch. Regular cupcakes are $40 and minis are $15 each. So, Contact Dick Elysius about your ideas for your specialty cake and cupcakes by calling 
0208-242-8721 or send them an email at dklicious822 at gmail.com. Again, for your specialty cake and cupcakes, call Dikelicious at 784-431-8721 or by email D-K-L-I-C-I-O-U-S-822 at gmail.com. Bay Hill News Network is an internet radio. We are affiliate with Fun City Radio USA, Cancardi Radio and Success Radio Canada and Blaze Nation Media Group. You can find Bay Hill News Network at www.bayhillnews.net. Nine goals to one. Uh... I'll be wondering if they'll come back at the next match. They've already concealed, conceded 17 goals in two games. Very tall number. <laughs> yeah, so, the, the body language of, of these players really not, really not shining out. Just about three or four players we have seen who really exemplify um, competing. Uh, this evening so the system three team leaving leaving quite comfortable they're yeah, winning by nine goals so one and they really really would have had a field they play with nine players as well so we're getting ready for that next encounter <clears throat> yes, so both teams are ready. We see the sister, the referee's moving up to try and get this game on. You know, about 10 minutes to 4 o'clock in the evening. Bright, bright sunshine. And for those who have not heard the results of the game yesterday being played between St. Vincent and the Grenadines and French Guyana, some people call it Cayenne. Um, in the Martinique yesterday, St. Vincent lost three goals to two. So we have now moved from second place, from first place actually, to third place. And I think there should be a game on today between Bahamas and British Virgin Islands. Um, it's pretty well almost that um, any team can move up as if St. Vincent may find themselves in third position. So after, after having lead in this competition, we are now back to third position. What has gone wrong? It can only be my guess, but um, I leave it up to the technical team of the SVG FF. I do have my my opinions, but I share it on another forum. But for today, we are down at the final playing field in very bright sunshine, witnessing the Simmons Grandies Community College Invitational Football Championship. I think this is the 18th edition, and. Uh, where there was a short break during the pandemic where it was reduced to a seven aside um at the college they have a little seven aside um pitch where teams participated but in this version of the game system three ah uh, not system three sorry the winners uh that last if the tournament was jubel's youth they would have won they would have won over the defending that that that's runners up in Hope International. So we are getting ready for that game. The referees officials are doing their checkoffs in the corner there. Shortly we'll see them coming forward to start the next game. And this viewing and listenership is being provided to you through Behill Network. They have been carrying the stream for the college programs for a very um, uh, uh, great amount of years. And they, here they are today doing the same. So it's Jebel's Youths coming up against Division of Technical Vocational Education, Year Two's at the Sign Hill playing field in glorious sunshine. A very good spectacle to behold. 
Yeah, and um, we see there may have been some color clashes there. We see some adjustments being made here to maybe a player or two. Some bibs so that we can make sure that the benches are being covered. That persons would not have any mix-up in terms of the color. But two contrasting colors here by both teams. One in predominantly neon green and the other in blue. So probably the goalkeeper or we see what happening as they come out. So yes, somebody has to go in goal. Maybe the keeper is not here with his outfit. But the player now has to put on a vest, so that means a player we will be finding themselves between the, between the uprights and the teams come out now to start the second encounter. Both teams appear to have had uh, has have their full complement of players and substitutes. So I can say offhand that um, the Jebel's team, they, they are forced to reckon with, like I said, they're defending their, their title. And um, they're putting off a, a good show this evening here. Uh, are we going to see this amount of goals being scored here today? Uh, okay, that's, that's for our viewers. And I'll let our listeners keep them up to date as to what is transpiring so teams have now moved out they are now having a shake of hands with the officials and both teams they are having their shake their handshake and in a few moments from now they will be will be witnessing a kickoff So it's Division of Technical Vocational and Educational Year Tools, Education Year Tools, they'll be taking on Jubel Youths. And we see um, some players to watch this evening here. Kamal Griffith for Jubel's, uh, prolific goal scorer and a hard runner, hard worker. Uh, number 24 for Jubel's as well. We call him Biggs, not seen at 24 at the moment, but I sh I'm sure his name may, should be on the card. Flair's having a, bit, a little sip of water. I think they're going to be managed this evening, it looks like, our, one of the national players. The national team has returned already for the defeat. Um, it looks like Nazim Bergen and the whistle. Got the clock going, so it's, it's now uh, Jebel is trying to go forward. It's now with Jebel, they're spreading it from the defense. <clears throat> and they're now moving it around. The, the player has turned inside, he has it. Lofted one over Fili, and flag goes up for an offside to the number seven player who is clean in offside position. Yeah, the number seven player there for is Java. Odin, yeah, Java Odin, clearly offside, and it's going to be a free kick to technical navigational year two. <clears throat> Sorry, that one play down field there, intercepted there. It's going to be another train to technical vocation deep in the into the half there of the system tree. That player controls. He's um, trying to shield up. Gets away, getting over there is the player there for Jibels. They've not been robbed over there by that player. Play that one down field, but it goes into touch. It's going to be a kick in, a throw in, sorry, to the Jibels youth. I wanted to be thrown back, thrown back there to find his man that was being played back to the keeper, giving his first touch. He's going to put that forward away to find his 
def central defender there in bigs he plays at one to find his man who's coming forward slips it's now with the air tools plays at one over uh wayward pass there i didn't see the intention that one he was playing to his, his lone player down here among three others and it went into touch over the goal line for a goal kick Yes, so it's a goal kick. System three. Now getting that one. Not system three, sorry. <clears throat> it's with Jibel. That one played nicely. A lovely ball played forward there, but that player had that one gone, she would have been definitely called offside. So the year two is now looking like a unit who were probably there before, but blocked over there by Jibels. Uh Jibels still trying to feel their way in this one. The, that's not the, the style they're custom playing with from what i do about a long one being played today the keeper has to come he misses but the, luckily for him the flag went up and he's able to get an offside call there otherwise that would have been between yoni and sack with all the ease in the world Kick down field there. One bounce over the goal line. Keeper for Jebel has to give chase to retrieve. So it's now with Jebel's. Keeper spots, plays it to his man out there on the right wing back. He kicks a long one, looking for his man there. That one drops, he reaches in. Number eight, but cleared away there by the defense there for vision of art, vision of technical vocation, and it goes into touch. It's going to be first corner kick in this second game in the first period of play. Corner kick comes in across, deflected there, headed away there. It's still with um, Jebel, that player tried to go wrong. He's been challenged, still has some control. He goes up once more. Can he keep it in? He's been shielded out, goes into touch. It's going to be a goal kick to Division of Technical and Vacation here too. Players pass that one. Kicks, not the best of kicks, but deflected though in the air. Players shield him. Jebels has that. Players throwing that one back. Looking for some support. Forward back to his keeper. Who collects, opens up. Back to that player who turns out. He been channel that was being played for the cross to, to Blacks who has to take it to his right foot, trying to give a chase again there. That player is offside again there. He was running forward, looking back, which tells you clear that he was in offside position. Advancing before the ball, that is. So it's offside call against the number seven player there for Jabez and Java Oding. So it's now with technical vision, a long, strong kick there again. The ball is in the air, headed over there by the defense. Number two player there for Jebels, Dimitri Thomas. Yeah, so Dimitri Thomas headed that one away, so it's going to be a train to technical vision here too. Show taken. Let's see. Let's find this man who turns back. Plays it back to the central defender. Looking to spread. Uh, turns inside. A lot of laughter one day. Probably digging too deep. And that one goes into touch over the goal line. Another goal kick here. So, a long kick there by the goalkeeper there for Jebel, a deep, I made that almost to the edge of the, but it's an offside call there, a long kick indeed, a very strong kick indeed, uh, that player, that ball dropped almost on the edge of the 18 on the other side, great kick there by the keeper, it was not too high, 
just aloft in and it's now with a goal kick and so that player plays that one back to find his right wing back he controls his turns in finds his man so it's now David Jibels they don't try to move forward they're trying to walk there with troop that long ball being played they're gonna play the prolific goal score there for he holds that one up still finds this man now he's trying to move inside but it's now with java he comes back gets that one across flat intercepted there stay with the technical vocational team they're trying to move forward that one has been played down that player has it he plays that one across looking for his man intercepted there by that number five player there for the dads for not for dads but for just jibels jibels play that one back to find the keeper who's not who now moves through moving forward finds his man he controls he steps back looking to get one across this is not the usual jebel style but let's see that player turns out he's choose to come for come back finds his man there he's now trying to go through in blacks good one today look at them support blacks holds up finds his man who comes on there try to turn between two play that one further to his right further to the right the back to the right wing back has that one now he's trying to move back in the center now they're trying to get their composure he holds that one up, finds it right when Baku drops off. He comes between our bisect board players, back across, switching from left, from right to left. He comes in, but he's looking to go deeper down that right, finds his man Java Odin, who is on a chase. He goes forward. He turns back, trying to get one across, and a shot on goal there. Right across the goal line, and it goes into touch for a goal kick to the technical navigation early here, too. And this is their first game in this tournament and um, it's going to be a oh, deflected because there's a corner being awarded to Jibels so Jibels now get that one across high and hard bit overweighted there that one came along with the win and it's going to be a goal kick as that ball has crossed the goal line to the technical and vocational yeah, two. Who have played displaying a much better game here uh, as to, as opposed to the dads here, twos who lost the previous encounter by nine goals to one to System Three, and it's going to be a train as we look here by the system, not the System Three, but the Jibel's youth team. So, Jibel's taking this one. Let's see. Find Java. A bit of reaching in on the part of that player from behind. A referee whistle has been sounded. Another free kick just about mid pitch to Jibel's. He chooses that player chooses to come across. Finds the number five player. He turns out back to find his right wing back. He chooses to come for the back as to attract the players there for. The technical and vocational team, but that player, the ball has been played wide to find his man looking for some support there. Finds his man in the midfield. Yes, Kamal has that turn. Lofted one over there looking for some support there. But number 11 has that, but robbed over there by the number 11 player there for the technical and vocational who was fouled from behind, according to referee. And it's a free kick to technical and vocational yeah, tools. I'm um, in play to find the number 10 player. Find this man, the number nine. He's been robbed away. It's still shot on goal there. Um, very team went outside the upright and over the goal line for a goal kick. So we see the man, Kamal Griffith, who has made serious inroads there for assists for Jebel's in the previous game last week. He's still yet to feel his way through. And I can bet you before the game is out, he's going to go on a, on a chase. But it's now with. Technical navigation, yeah, twos. Short one day, Griffith picks that one up. Still Griffith picks that one forward to find the number seven in Java Odin, but it's now been turned back to find a central midfielder who's choosing to come across. Picks that one back to the man, Blacks. Blacks try to post that one through, and Blacks was a player for um, last season for, I uh, make it Hope International, but it's now. Yeah, two trying to come to straight back to black. He put that one to find his man. He's looking to go on a chase there. He's looking to go on a chase there. 
flag stays down. No flag goes up now. Griffith, blacks running from behind. Um, uh, went down to that one, but the assistant flag was up. And uh, somebody, uh, or some people would have been offside, would have been offside there. Offside call against this, another long one down field. That one dropped once, twice, being chased, but to the keeper who collects. Bulls that one out to find blacks in the middle there. He plays that one further forward, find his man in the, down the center. Number five, changes. Choose to come through, but change that one back again to find his central midfielder black. So plays that one to his right. Find the right wing back. Try to play a long one to find his man. Good pass, but rubbed over there. And a plan, chance coming here and for, for year two. Shot and goal here. And oh my word. That player, number seven, it was number two, was, would have been mad with himself there because I think he had more than ample time there. Um, he should have actually gone for the near post, but he chose to go for the far post, and the keeper went down nicely and collects. Uh, uh, we see Jubez now trying to make a...
That one he losing went further wide. Please that one back into find his man again. But challenged there quite strongly by the defense there for the year twos. They're now trying to come forward, but taken away there by the Jibel's team. They're now trying to move forward again. Conk attack deep into the half there. For them to this was a flag goes up. This was uh, sitting there in his armchair. Off into the assistant. So it's good thing done, but both teams uh, I think Jibel having a, a more competitive game than they would have had in the last encounter. So it's now uh, with the year twos, you know, system, not system three, that is. Uh, Jibel said that one of that player turns in and out. Doing one a bit too much, but luckily for him, he got that round to uh, the man who went down the middle. Find this man, stretching again. See, this will take that one out. This will take that one out. This will send this man forward. Flag goes up again. Yes, and the assistant is right on target there now. Oh, we now got back some <laughs> some light in our, in our setup, but a bit of malfunctioning. You know, machines, they, they do malfunction from time to time. Maybe too much sun, so we might turn a bit out of the sun, but long one there. That player now takes that one for year twos. The man who created the store turns nicely there on his man. Still has some country find this man who turns outside still. Come to pray that one across to find this man intercepted there. Poor pass on the part there. And it's now with the air too. Still fighting. Get that one across. Intercepted there by that player. But in this, another interception coming there. Another block coming there. Yeah, two's really trying to do equalize in there. But equalize and trying to go ahead. But it's now with Jibels. That player turns in. Relieves his players. Now, it's now that player goes down feeling you know, on his right flank. Digging deep. Strong one in. But... He's been marshaled strongly there by the player. Good double touch there. Can he get on across? Does so high in the air, but further back. That's about the edge of the 18. So it's now being challenged there by the player there for Jibez. Goal forward there now. The player turns inside, looking to go further wide. Shark coming in there, deflects uh, for the boot there of one of his own player. And it goes into touch over the goal line for a goal kick to be awarded to. No corner kick, sorry, deflection came by, yes. So it's now over the for a goal a corner kick, sorry, to be awarded to Jibels United. Searching for the second goal. This was a kick that one in. Good cross indeed. Deflects over the keeper. Cleared away there. Partially. Another stretch and play. They get that one across, but intercepted there again. Now they're trying to come forward, but intercepted once more again. Jibels strike and goal there. A great attempt, but it went high over the crossbar. Into touch for a goal kick to be awarded to the technical and vocational year tools um a division of technical and technical um at the setup here in our college system for the those uh, students who would have left the secondary school so it's a kick off there straight to the number eight player who challenged from behind this is a turns inside flips over that one being challenged not a strong challenge coming there by the man who scored the penalty he gives a chance challenge you know didn't keep that one inside, went over the goal, cross that the touch line for another throw in to Jibels. And we saw that, that that challenge came in there by Christopher Lowe, the goal alone goal scorer there for technical invocation. So it's now who scored the penalty. So it's now with Jibels that show comes in there, finds this man. Now Jibels are trying to walk their way through again. Standing from behind, a lofted one playing, playing over there. Find this who takes that one down nicely. This was a challenge in there. Plays that one out to find his man who has to run on. Flag stays down. He goes in. Swings that one higher, but not high and hard, to the near post. Uh, as against a, a man who's in goal, not necessarily a keeper. He just had to be there because he had to be there. And um, we see um, number seven, I think that one was in Java Odin. I get that confirm in a moment yes it's java odin number seven scoring the second goal for jibels leading now two goals to one and it's now with the year two trying to come forward bobby played on the man who created a store a while ago is has now switched from left to right so he is closer to us here in the commentary boot uh, he wins a train in the process Let's see. And the two is uh, here. But when we play through that player's really push using his body to get to, to find his way through, he does so. It's now with 
Jibez uh, trying to go forward, looking forward to a goal. Looking for that one back to find his man. Flag goes up again. Java Odin has been called offside. And you can see they're really, really looking to, to dig into these guys now. But um, very smart play into on the part of the defense there for technical action here too. Um, a lot of offside calls have now been made here. So it's two goals to one. Technical navigational children by one goal. A long play today. Find this man. Let's see. A challenge comes here, but a player is winner winner. A two in for the year twos. Let's see. He leaves that one for the man coming on. Number 24. Shows that one in to find this man. He had a bit of bounding up there. He swing that one in though. Rob the way there. That player was able to come out of walk out of that one to find Odin. Odin goes another chase here. But equal to the task of number 11 player. Has equal speed. But he's over overrun now there though by Odin. Who plays that one again? To the near post. <laughs> Odin goes again. Getting past the defense there. And was able to squeeze that one on the keeper. Definitely the, the, the man in goal is not the, um, the, the keeper for this team. And uh, they are now feeling their way in for, as the first game after the year two's technical and vocational and education. Um, the reason being is that the, the um, medical school students who should have been taking part um, lost their bid to, be, to continue this competition because they have they showed up all the players showed up without a uniform and at the time of checkoff they were unable to to come out outfitted and they too according to the rules of the competition were being um expelled from the competition so they uh their tooth are now feeling there which they should have been taking part last year um now another chance here and another goal here by the number nine player there it looks like for the year twos for for jibels jibels now Climbing and, and looking to score, and I guarantee you they're going to be scoring much more goals if these guys uh, are not careful. So soon I get that number confirmed there for that player. It looks like number nine for Jibels. Yes, it is number nine for Jibels. I do not have a number nine on my card. In terms of number, but I get the name of that player. He's in number 90 shirt. So until I get that name, we'll do some commentary still. So it's now with the yeah, twos behind by three goals to one. Moving forward, a lovely ball there, but um, stays down, but ill directed. It went straight to the keeper who collects. Bows that one to find his man who collects and uh, finds this man in the center. Looking to go forward again, find a man running the. But intercepted there. Number three, the penalty scorer has that one now. He's trying to come through. Gets past his man on a little swizzle there. Find, get inside, but just for the defense there for Jebel. That player held on to that one. Turn and find his man. He's forced, forced to come back because he was ill positioned. But however, got that one to go forward. He's now going forward there. Number five has it. He turns back. Only to get that one into the player number three. Player there, the penalty scorer there in shade. And it goes into touch for a throwing to be awarded to Jebels. Leading three goals to one. Fighting with a bit of sunshine here, so I have to position at some point to try and get away from this sunshine. Beaming down very hard. And I'm sure we're almost close to, to the um, first period in this second encounter. Um, Jibez leading three goals to one. Another chase on here. That player goes forward there. Wrong whistle. This was a has that one. This was a turns back. This was a turns. Finds Odin again. He tries to get that one across. And they will have been. I'm, I'm sure the coach uh, is really appealing, appealing to them here to be, to at least to be, they should have they had more opportunity to, to score that goal there. And they really made a mock of it. So now that one comes across, deflected. There's a bitter hiccup. They heard the sound of a whistle, which is similar to the one that the keeper has. Uh, some netball being played here, and some calls have been made there, uh, which really cause out of um, impinge on the, the, the players going forward. But Jubel still had that one. It's now with Jubel still. Uh, Blacks has that one. Plays that one to find the center midfielder. He can't choose. Looking for some support. Lafted that one over to find his man, who collects... He's going to have a chase. Get, get one across. He does so. Head goes up. 
a bit of rush of blood there, there were three players. This was I was sitting there waiting on that one. But that man who scored that last goal there, um, heading that one, and it goes into touch for a goal kick. So, still not having that goal score there. And for Jebels. So, Christopher Lewis, he has two. And Java Odin has one. And um, still to record another. So it's a train now to air tools, <clears throat> but it's now with that player there for Jibels. They're trying to go forward or forward. Long ball being played today. Odin trying to get wrong his man, but he's been challenged. He had another chance to score. Goes wide and play that back one and again. Uh, we see um, Java Odin can goal. So it's looked like four goal. It could be five because I think I would have missed um, uh, a goal there. It's now yeah two. Something that first thing comfortably from the kind of occasional. It's now with that player. He kicked that one. He was able to keep it in though. Did a good turn. He's trying to get forward there. Let's see what he does. Find this man in the middle there. Kancho tried to punch that one too. Took his eyes off. But it's now with Jebels trying to get that one forward. Intercepted there though. Into touch for a train to the Jebels. Long throw take. And we see this was a going on this one. This was a get past his man. Intercepted. This was a has control. Finds Java Odin again who kicks and scores his third goal. So this was uh, Odin has a, a hat trick. And they're really taking, making inroads here into the technical and vocational team. So has been sounded for the final score in this first period of the encounter. Uh, final technical vocational year tools at the Sinai Plain School, a competition organized in its 18th edition by the Simmons Greenwich Community College. Invitational Championship and um, yes, uh, game on. We see already five. I think I'm shot by one goal, but I'm just going to get some confirmation here from John and the fourth officials because there's a number here that I didn't get. So, a number here that I didn't get. So, I'll see you know, a third goal. I think my my microphone has enough range so i'm now moving towards because i'm i'm alone here towards there okay to make sure that i get the number nine player and i'm not, I'm not seeing a number number nine who's called that number nine number nine number nine score goal eh? yeah number nine yeah so no, I, I think i think get number nine four right and number nine Right. But number nine, do I have a number? Do I have a number? Sorry, give me the name. Yes, so Jibel leading, they took some time to sort themselves out, but they have come to their own and really making some inroads into technical education area too, who are now having their first game this evening, uh, not being able to play that game last week because they would have showed up to play against to play against the med school and the med school they lost and was expelled from the competition because they showed up to play but there were no uniforms when the time uh, for the game was scheduled and as a result they uh, they have lost that game and expelled from the competition so it's bright sunshine this at the and sign the playing field here where 
the uh, right. Yes, yeah, so number nine. Three. Yes, that's it. Number nine has won. Yes, in um, Christopher Lewis, he has won. Leroy Danzel, he has won. And four goals uh, coming here from Java Odin. So six goals to one. Um, and we've always seen this where the team who starts scoring always finds themselves on the losing end. So it's six goals to one. Jibel is leading over. Technical and vocational, yeah, two. The competition started about 18 years ago. There were, there were various challenges, especially when we had the COVID thing. Uh, we, they played a shortened version and a smaller field at the Villa campus of the college. And um, if I remind you back last year, Jubel, the defending champions, here yeah, they would have won on penalty kicks against Hope International last year. The first time being played on the lights, and as uh, you've heard from the organizer already, that there will be another version as we're going to have some lights um, at the Annasville playing field. And from what we would have seen before, I guarantee you that there will be, there will be. Um, um, to give a, a greater impact than what we did see last time around. So just having a bit, a bit of refresher here for myself because it's bright, bright sunshine. Um, good heat. And the sun is directly on us here. In the commentary wood, um, being a lone ranger here. And a goal spree here. And I'm sure they're going to be scoring because the goal scorers, this was a, he has not yet got started. Yeah, so we're going to resume play here. The final period in this final encounter at the Sinai playing field in the Semitic Community Community College Invitational Football Championship. Uh, Jubel's leading six goals to one over technical educational, educational year twos. And we see, well, we see um, Mikael Williams, the Blacks, aka Blacks. He has, he has been replaced. By um, I get a name for you, his replacement. Sadiq okay, Sadiq Williams is his replacement. Yeah. And um, yeah. John, make it out. Yeah. making his way out. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. 
but as an outfield, Alan, he's wearing four. Yes, so they get ready to resume play. At the time of the playing field, Jibel's final encounter in this evening's competition of the Seminole Leeds Community College. So we see that player coming in there, uh, number 14, right wing back. So it's a start, the whistle has been sounded. Yes, so keeper for Jubel picks that one up. So all the move there on the part of the year twos. Let's see if they can maintain that. They're trying, but I want to play the good one today. But taken away there by that player there for year twos. Looking to see if they can get the number shot and a good play there as well. Find the man who kicked the pen who scored penalty. He holds it up and oh, turns his wheel, turn back out. Gets past the players though. Still has a chance. He's been fouled. The referee said no, he thought he was fouled there. And this is what happens when you have players who have an opportunity where they can make an advance in play. They tend to want to hold it up and um, create problems. That was a goal scoring opportunity which he made a mock of and they paid the price. Is that the reason why you're losing six goals to one? Yeah, too much individualism and not teamwork. A long one being played on field. For a little man, I think he's kicking very hard though. Has a good technique and he's going to win the show there, year twos. Deep again into the Jibel staff. So they're really making some strides getting up there. But uh, the, to complete the task, it's really off. So, yeah, twos, they're having their chance. We see, I'm um, looking at what I'm seeing here. I see like two, four, five players playing among two players. One of them being D'Souza, who could be very, who's very prolific and could be dangerous. He collects now. D'Souza turns. Sends this man a long ball, searching down field in Java Ode, in Java Ode, and then take it on the best, uh, the best at first attempt. Tries a swarm there, gets past his man though, gets that one across now to find this. Who flip a lovely acrobatic performance there on the part of this Souza, but the keeper was the, uh, the man between the bars, I should say, who was keeping, not really a keeper, got his hands onto it, deflected over the crossbar, and it goes into touch for a corner to Jibels. Looking to score more. They do have seven by. They have six now, and um, we have had nine goals scored previously. I think we we can be looking at the double mark. But let's see. Jabba Odin has this one. Bit of one across in the wind. A touch there. The keeper was able to come and collect, and looking for some kicks. That one not the best of kicks. Let's see where that one drops. His player got it though. So it's now with number 14, 21, which I turn in and chipping in the process. <laughs> wasn't a deliberate but fouled so a long one in and outside clearly outside number nine player was there standing even before the ball was played and we see year two technical application of winning uh good kick no sorry a, a foul <clears throat> a lovely kick here i love the way that player gets onto that ball and the challenge come there, but it's rubbed over there. That player now moves across, finds his man. The offside with the number nine player. And he's offside because once you get there and swing it, hang in your foot to get the ball to come and meet you, yes, clearly offside. So I now see why they have been having so many offsides and at, at the get go. And now, yeah, two has that one. Let's see. They kick a long one down field. Onto as far as the defender who tried to get that one out to find his man, but onto as far as year two is now this number four has that one. Look at the go in the middle, problems, but he was able to get that back though. Challenge though, he was not best advised to go on the outside or in down the middle than to play back. And another ball played through this was a goal through the one that looked like an offside to me. Flag stays down, this was a kick though and score. So this was a scores mm, for my vantage point. D'Souza yes, is able to score the seventh goal there for Jebels. So 
D'Souza finally got his name on the card and uh, wouldn't doubt if he goes on to score much more. <clears throat> so the two year two two year twos, technical and vocational um year two and dad's year two, the two I should say probably should be more seasoned teams um from the college because they are playing together. They might have played together. Should have been play, playing together from for the second year now, but really not getting the results that they probably would have anticipated. A long one down for you on the father defender. That one wasn't taken nicely. He's able to get it back though. He turns inside. Still stretching. Finds the man inside. He turns inside on a bit of trouble. He releases. Finds the man there. He turns outside. And it's now with Jebel. They're trying to come for a long one being played downfield. Looking for the Souza, but cleared away there by the number 13 player. He finds this man, a big challenge coming. Number 8 has it. He's trying to go forward. Long ball cross field there. Yes, he's offside position. Java Odin. And a good call here on the part of assistant one. So, Jebel's leading. Seven goals. And that one being played out. Finds his man. Give out away now. He's going to send him man for two persons challenging it there. And player has that one. Now it's three versus one. Get that one across to find the Souza who kicks again. And um, that one went through the keeper's legs and his hands there. This I told you once he starts, he's going to get going. So we're going to be having some heavy scores in this year's competition. Even though we think that it's it's more competitive because you have a lot of uh, players from the national lineups playing in this competition both at the nine under 19 under 23 and uh, a senior level uh, now it's standing we're going to be having this we're going to be having our World Cup playoffs for the under playoffs for the under 23s uh, sometime early next year and this is a good a good modest build for for them so it's now with Jebel the keeper has that one trying to dribble in, dribble in, dribble in. confidence has grown from the time they started he's not trying to go forward he's find his man he goes across looking for that defender who now came in looking to go on a trap finds this was a kick that one now to find his man that player was offside but the man Java holding his own position one play across um Jebel is trying to come through again and he's been challenged very strongly by the Williams one out. He finds his man now. Put that one across. Flag stays down. Yes, this can go number number eight and a good goal there by the eleven player there for number eleven player there for Jebels. And I'm still searching for in for that player because um. I have been told the numbers have been switching up so ever so often. Because if you are your club, you should have the registered players with numbers. But that number 11 player there, I really don't have a number for him there. And I'm still trying to ascertain who the name of the goal scorer. But yeah, two is ambitious indeed, trying to go forward. A player has that one, trying to go through there. He turns out among the heavy traffic and kick that one quite outside the upright. I need to touch for a, a goal kick. quickly taken and it's now more movement there it's they're now trying to come through let's see please that one down the bell now trying to come forward you know trying to come through the dribbles again flag stays down you know trying to come forward it you see number 11 going forward again put that one across to find this man he controls taken goal number nine scores now his second goal in Christopher Lewis. So good playing the pattern number 11 there. And um, Jebel now have eight goals. Nine goals actually.
score another goal. This who's comes in. Shot and goal, this who's and Kamal Griffith. Oh Griffith, sorry, yes. Griffith it is. Griffith it looks like looks like eleven. I'll give you a count in a shortly. Yes, 11 goals, 11 goals the most uh, scored um, in this competition thus far. We do have Christopher Lewis, he has a brace. Um, Kamal Griffith has three. Uh, Le Le Leroy Danzel, he has two. And four goals by Java Odin. So it's now with Jibbers again, trying hard to go for Kuchu, but I want him to touch. So yeah, Tools has that one now. They're going to be moving forward. 11 goals, you can see a, a goal per player now, that, that player goes down there. Let's see who holds it up. Gets past his man, but intercepted there. It's now with Jibels. They're now trying to come forward again. Looking for a goal number 12. A long one down field there to Java Odin, who's strong. Big, strong lad. Running, coming forward there. He comes across. He has two players to contend with. He, he got past one. Still trying to come through. Bit selfish indeed, but it's now with... Uh, they're now with... Yeah, two, no, no, uh, um, that player number eight has it there for, for the uh, Jibels. He turns inside. Trying to be a, a bit um, selfish, playing away by, by the players of Jibbles. And uh, they're now trying to move forward, though. But they turn back. Player turns forward again. Find this man. Player a little overconfident now, doing a bit, maybe too much. That ball's in the air. That goal scorer number 11, has that one. He was able to, wasn't able to keep it in, and it goes into touch for a throw-in. So good cross there. Coming though, but uh, too hard and too deep. Uh, to really that, and it goes into touch. So yeah, Tools get that one. Opens up. Playing up dangerously across the goal though. Now trying to, to go forward. Guess that forward there. Intercepted there. Touch from behind. The referee says nothing. Go down again. So, has that. Turns inside. Looking for some support. Griffith. Turns inside. Goes up. Shut down goal again, but wide outside the average. Maybe playing a bit selfish. Um, in in um, Kamal Griffith and it goes into touch so it's going to be a throwing a kicking sorry from the goal line here yeah, twos 11 goals scored here this evening highest number of goals concealed thus far 11-1 so it's now number 11 he throws in giving Kamal a big chase here, but he's shielding using his body weight there but the ref says that was too much a bit of pushing there so Griffith goes back now. Griffith goes back. And 27 minutes remaining in this. Six more minutes remaining. Okay, so it's now a play through there, but intercepted there. Let's see. Challenge comes in there by the man who's been created a bit of store here for the year twos. So now we're trying to go out there. That one being played today, Lang Dong, so it's going to be Chuin. He comes across, challenge comes there. So, what is being played through here is now with him. So, it's now with yeah, two, they're trying to go forward. Good move, they're passing more options now. Yes, he has that under control. Shot and goal from I'm not distant. Ambitious one this time. <coughs> but it's now. Hold on, number four has that. Fighting his way through. A bit of pulling and talking there, but a good, good move and turn there. Find this man. He turns inside. Find this man. Now they're trying to come forward. Long one through. Flag stays down. The keeper comes off this time. Uh, good and bad the keeper. Collects there. Danzel is trying to move forward, but he wrapped away there by the defense there. He was losing one out, and the referee says it's a foul against number 11. Danzel and it's gonna be a free kick take by number ten for yeah twos. He opens up, he goes across, plays it to his man who controls. And then take it too nicely. Trying to do somebody fake in there. He still has control though. Please that want to find his man who's on side. He collects back heel, good move. Let's see now. Is he gonna put in a cross? Tries to come across, got past one man. Still trying to dance his way too. But a good attempt though. Bit selfish though. And straight to the keeper who collects. He goes out and here we go now. 
Griffith. Griffith goes in the church. Griffith goes, gets past one. Griffith gets past two. He's been pulled. He's been pulled indeed. He's been pulled indeed. He's been pulled indeed. The referee is not looking at the assistant. Oh, my word. We cannot allow this to be happening. Uh, the viewers are looking as well. And we see an interception coming there. And it's going to be a uh, uh, train. There was a foul. The, referee, the assistant did call it. Uh, Kamal was fouled till he went to the ground. The referee apparently thought because he was a distance away, but the assistant did see. She made that call. That's why her. <laughs> I would like to tell you the comment on this one. <laughs> that I would have heard. But anyway, it's football inside that playing field. One thing I, I want to say is that um, when we're dealing with our youngsters and the fact that we are viewing, we need to put what is right, right. Long one down field. Man is, and he's going to be called offside. Java Odin. Flag goes up. Flag goes up. Yeah, my thing is once the, the offense has been committed, blow. Do not delay. It's going to be a free kick there to the year twos. It's going to be a free kick to the year twos. Let's see. 11 goals to one. <clears throat> Team start to the score end up losing. So that player number two there again. Try to go forward. Uh, names and no numbers, so I cannot give you a name uh, for most of these players and the technical team. But number two, not on that occasion let's see we see Odin comes across again is Odin comes across again kicks that one in the goal there Java Odin goal fifth goal this time I mean that makes it 12 12 goals here to Java Odin sorry 12 goals for uh, sis, uh Jebels and five goals to Java Odin very strong player really running and strong and a good finisher. Uh, maybe I had a better goalkeeper been in goal. This would not have happened for sure, sure. But because he was, he was not really challenged um, as, a, as a real keeper would have done. And we see another breakdown here. Another attack here on the part of a shot and goal here this time. Um, but kicking there with his head on the ground, not knowing know where the goal was, but um, aiming was not on target. And it goes into touch over the goal line. Kick taken there, finds another man now. Plays that one now, finds his man, he collects. As two moves through there, but straight into the part of the players. Still has some control, he turns back, comes across, finds his man who's stretching a bit there. And uh, taking away there, referees a play on. Another one played through there, and offside call against number nine player looking for his hat trick. He has a brace in Christopher Lewis. But it's um, no. Long kick downfield there. Finds the number three player there for technical vocational of the year two. Finds this man. He opens up. Finds man there. Good touch again there. Still has control though. Choose to come forward or back. Uh, they just probably playing for, should I say for fun? Controls. Move between. Finds this man. Now they're moving around and trying to get some composure in now that they they have they are losing. This is have done before. Wins it one. Look at this one now. Jibel's fighting now. Trying to, that player goes forward. Has an advantage there. Holds up. Turns back inside. Number 11. Plays that one across to find Java Odin. Odin turns out. Finds this man. This Souza. Cross again to the keeper. Trying to score his hat-trick. And Griffith. Come on, Griffith. Sorry. I want to check. I play number 14, they're giving a chase. Right now with Jibel, a player takes it. He turns inside, chooses to go forward or back to find the central defense. He controls, he comes through. Uh, conditions are very cool now for, for playing and testing yourself. The flag was going up, it has gone up. Java Odin has been adjudged offside once more. And it's going to be a uh, two. The year two's technical and education at the Annasville campus. <clears throat> Sorry. Here. So it's going to be a kick, free kick. Kick now taken. 
Number three has it. He turns in, turns out, finds this man. No further back to find his right wing back. Move forward. Plays that one down, find the man the right wing back. Right midfield, rubbed over there. It's now comes in, finds this man. Plays that one two to find his man. There. Yeah, comes across there, reflects, finds his man though. Uh, not best of passes, but we see this who's a come on Griffith fighting, but come out of turns, gets past one. Dummies get past one. Find the brings it across. Find the man who's on side. He has a chance. Oh, not a poor attempt on that part. Mean enough for try to get it. Keeper was coming to his right. Trying to put it to the left. The keeper got a hand onto it and it went into touch over the crossbar for a corner kick to be awarded to Jibels. So Jibel is having maybe the final kick in this one. Yes. Let's see. Kick taken. Griffith controls. Fix that one over. Tried to score, but that one that one was the, came off a own goal by the defender by one defenders there. Instead of defending, he kicked headed that one into the into the goal. And uh, that was by um a, a own goal score there. I make it 12 goals, means scored here. A record. So it's a long kick now, long, long play there. It's now with uh, Jibbers looking for the goal. Java Odin giving a chase. Java Odin choose to come back around there. Still cast control. Play that one wrong. Gets it. Finds this man there. Play that one to Jabba Odin who was standing offside. Yes, the flag goes up now. He's been a judge offside. Jabba Odin offside. <clears throat> Alright, so it's going to be a uh, kick there. We see the referee looking at his watch. I have some time on my clock, but um, the referee sees the man in the middle there. See, they're trying to go through again. The player goes through there, gets past one. Oh my word. All the hard work and kick that ball into the laps of the, of the man who was standing in the goal. I would not say a keeper. He's trying to perform the duties of a keeper. And we see Odin going, coming forward. You know, Odin, Odin, Odin. That's an offside once he plays. But um, keeper collects again. Plays that one out to find his right to him back. He turns inside to look for his man. He controls, comes inside, gets past one. Still has it going there. Good playing. Finds his man. But only to as far as the defense there. A good return pass there. The long ball played out there. Now let's see what he make up this one. He's trying to go forward. He goes in. He goes forward in, losing that one out, out to the defense there for Jebels. You know, throwing the center, trying to come forward again. Passing the ball around. Play it around, play it around. Try to play it around. And just come from the bench, knock it down a while. Um, but I believe in goals, but. That's not my call. So it's now they're not trying to go wrong. Player has that. Bobbing and weaving. Almost running into trouble there. Gives it a one away. Comes across now. And a clearance had to be forced there um, by that player. Uh, def defense in number 11. And he goes into touch for a goal kick. So Jebel's, uh, what the defending champions, leading by 5, 7, 10, 12, 13 goals. <laughs> Highest number of goals scored in this competition thus far. In this competition. So now a player goes in there, kicks there, deflects. But deflects off one of his own players there. Actually stop a goal scoring opportunity. They now try and had a second chance there to score. And the whistle has been sounded. And uh, that's the final whistle there. Final whistle in this encounter. Jibbles leading by 13 goals to 1. Over technical educational, educational, yeah, tools. That's uh, a component of the educational campus say by extension when you would have um gone past secondary school then the next move is to get into the technical vocational or if you go into the to the science aspect of it not necessarily science but the other um groups of study it was a study that has been offered at the technical uh, level college one of our highest institutions so we do have um and we do also had some in invited clubs into this competition 
uh, Jubels, the defending champions, Hope International. We have System 3. We have Avenues United, one of the older clubs here. And um, yes, for the top clubs here. So we have come to the end of this session in the, in the Simmons Grandis Community College edition of football championship being played here at the center playing field and giving 13 goals to one over the year two's uh technical education education so we'll sign out here from the sign the playing field for now and um see you here next tuesday next thursday that's thursday of this week where we bring you more live coverage and to our viewers and to our listeners from the side of the playing field. Peace and out.